Hey, I'm Justin Yu, Associate Editor for CNET.com. This is your first look at the HP X7000 Wi-Fi Touch Mouse. So it draws inspiration from other touch-sensitive mice like Apple's Magic Mouse and the Logitech M600. Uh, this is HP's version and it adds an extra feature to the mix with the ability to connect through the wireless adapter in your Windows 7 powered computer. And that's instead of Bluetooth, which is what the majority of other wireless mice are. That adds benefit by freeing up precious USB ports for your other peripherals on your computer. But unfortunately, a series of hardware hiccups left a pretty bad taste in my mouth, so let's take a tour of the device before I tell you about that first. You'll notice immediately that the mouse is contoured for right-handed users, so lefties should keep shopping. The whole piece has a really ergonomic shape. You get the two standard buttons on top here for left and right clicks, two buttons on the side for moving backward and forward through a web browser, and a single touch-sensitive button in the middle strip here. Instead of the scroll dial you usually see in the center of modern mice, this one is touch-sensitive, so the pointer will actually respond to your finger flicking across it. In my experience, however, the mouse is a little overly sensitive, and that made it a little prone to accidental clicks when my finger lingered even for an extra second too long on the pad. That and the real estate for swiping is too small with only a slightly raised position in the center that makes it hard to distinguish unless you're looking down directly at it, and who wants to do that every time you scroll? But let's get back to the connectivity really quick. The first thing you should know is that it will only pair with compatible Windows 7 wireless adapters, so double check with the link I put in the written review to make sure your computer works before you buy it. Once you confirm that, however, pairing with the mouse and your wireless receiver is really easy. It shouldn't take more than five minutes with a single button push to establish a connection. I did notice, however, that the mouse takes a little time to reconnect if its companion computer goes into sleep mode. My last gripe with the X7000 is the lack of reprogrammable buttons. There's five of them, and you can change the number of scrolls per notch on the touch panel, as well as the specific functions of those buttons, but you can't actually remap any of them to launch an application of your choice or perform keystroke combinations. Overall, my favorite mouse is still the Logitech Performance Mouse MX. You can find a link to that in the written review. It's about 20 bucks more than this X7000, but it's a lot more comfortable to use and definitely worth the use of your USB port. You can read all the details in my full review on CNET.com. I'm Justin Yu. You just took a first look at the HP X7000 Wi-Fi Touch Mouse. Thanks for watching.